Divine One, Divine One, since you appear human, I am curious. What are the differences between dragon and human? Uh, let's see. We live a bit longer than humans. We're typically stronger and more agile. You're right about appearance, though. We look much the same. Interesting. Oh, is it also true that you slumbered in the Somnia for 1,000 years? What was it that woke you after all that time? Did you tire of sleeping? To be honest, I'm not sure. I see. And what were you doing before you went to sleep? <sighs> I'm sorry. I don't remember much from before I woke up. <sighs> A pity. You're asking lots of questions, Kigetsu. Why are you so interested in me? Why should I not be? We are friends, of course. Friends? We've actually not spoken that much. To my mind, we have been friends ever since we first spoke. And I like to know my friends. Is it not so for you? Do you not want to be my friend? No, of course I do. Good. Then I would like to know all about you so we can strengthen our bond. So I should get comfortable and brace for more questions. Got it. Your hair, Divine One. Is your style unique? Or is it common to all dragon fashion? Now that you mention it, I have no idea. I don't actually know much about dragons. It seems they are mysteries even to themselves. I apologize. You have so many questions, and I have so few answers. Not at all. I am happy merely to talk with you. In my homeland, it is the dragons of the East who are worshipped, rather than divine or fell. That is why I find you so very interesting. I had no idea your people worshipped the dragons of the East. I'd love to know more about your homeland. What's it like? It is part of the Queendom of Sol, but remote. There is not much contact with other regions. Our culture is unique and vibrant, but we are quite secluded. Is that because your people want to protect their culture from outside influences? Perhaps, yes. But they also lock it away. I may not seem it, but I was born to royalty. I was trained always to preserve my legacy. That meant always being home, thinking only of family. It was sad never to step outside of that. But now you fight with us for a cause you believe in. I'm sure your family is proud of you and the difference you're making in the world. Maybe so. Did you have any other questions for me? I am happy to answer. Oh, I sure do. We haven't even discussed the food in your homeland yet. Thank you for the chat the other day, Kagetsu. Exactly what I was going to say. After our talk, I feel our bond has become unbreakable. To tell the truth, however, I was rather reluctant to speak too much of my homeland. Why is that? You said my family back home would be proud of me. Yes. Those were kind words, but they were untrue. I abandoned my responsibility and my role. I left only written words to explain my leaving. Are there any parents who would look proudly on their son for this? I think it is impossible. Perhaps they have forgotten me altogether. Oh, Kagetsu. That just means we have our work cut out for us, doesn't it? Huh? If you accomplish great things, your family can't help but be proud of you. So you'll just have to become a living legend across the land. Nothing to it. They can't forget you if your name is on the lips of all the world. And as your friend, I'll help you. My friend, the Divine One. I had thought one meeting was enough to become friends. I now realize it is not so simple. True. Friends are much more than that. They help each other through their darkest moments. If that is the case, then our bond of friendship has grown incredibly strong. You think so? Yes. Uh, we were friends from the start. But our bond has grown much stronger over time. That's true. It certainly has. Indeed. And thanks to that powerful bond, word of our great deeds will be spread far and wide. <laughs>